Then you have your repair console for your ships, followed by quests. Oh, they added a lot of delivery missions. There you yep. go. That's the basic workup. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull my ship and we'll uh, get things started. Obviously, they've got a long way to go. What do you mean? Yeah, it's getting but it's close still a good yeah. amount of flesh here. Too badly. No, I mean, it doesn't move too bad. Yeah. Your ship has been delivered the sh the landing space pack. map is still a little funky, but it's getting better from where it was. Alright, so zero, pad zero, zero. It's gonna be this guy over here. With me, Grogo? I'm not tracking either yeah. of you guys. Behind you. I see you way off over there in the distance, man. You're like 31 million am away we go out this airlock and you always got to cycle the airlock too you gotta freeze our nuts off all right so we want pad zero zero which is straight ahead Where's the shopping center? Is there a shopping center? I don't, all there is is the clothing mm. shop that I know of. That's in basically the common area. Okay, the common area, not the uh, no trams to it? No, it should be when you come out of your little thing. I want to see what they got. See if they got my Punisher shirt. Is that your little ship? Well, that's one of them, yeah. Little? Did you pull the six hundred? Yeah. It's it's a little. little. It's small. Yeah, it's compared to. <laughs> it looks small. Then you start running up on it, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Dude, the view from the bridge is epic on that thing too. All right, so somewhere. Oh yeah, this is... Alright, come over here, Grogo. Don't run underneath this thing here. Won't actually kill you, will you? Um, it's alpha. So it's possible. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and hop on. Going up. Gonna get us off the landing pad, and you're free to explore, my friend. Just uh, don't okay. do anything. Don't go outside. You're welcome to come up. Go. This is the bridge here. I'll be able to give you the actual tour here once we hit Quantum. Guess I'm just gonna go to the subway and uh, yeah. reach out the spaceport. Yep. We'll be there as soon as possible. We're gonna go through the ship expo, yeah? Yeah. What just happened to Grogo? I sat down. Oh, okay. Scared the shit out of me, buddy. There you are, I see you in this seat. I just saw you, like, do some weird warping around. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm sure, assuming this console's to do something at some point. Yeah, just don't do power off. The only thing I, I ask that you don't do, because you'll power down the whole entire ship. I don't know how to power anything up, so. <laughs> there we go. 
good place to start to look around but yeah I did a, a little video I posted on the forums Brogo, for the walkthrough on the hammerhead um, I suggest that okay. you kind of view it on YouTube or you can view it on the forums but they'll give you all the basic info on like how to interact with stuff uh, specifically for the hammerhead because that's the one where we'll have uh, people crewing as so it'll give you a walkthrough on the kind of a tour and how to use consoles and stuff like that I'm hoping that people find it useful guns don't shoot I missed this son. yeah we're in quantum now though all right, so Quantum. yep, you hold F and you look to it's either your right or your left. You should see an exit. Yeah, that's how you get out of the seat, or you can hit H. All right, so now that you're out, we can give you a tour. I can give you a quick tour around the ship. So escape pods over there to your left. It's a main. I don't even know what to call this area. It's like some kind of engineering deck, maybe-ish. I don't know. Office space. Printer's over there. Don't those, touch. The, don't touch my red stapler. Those. Can you yeah. guys use those as uh, for the turrets then? Uh, this isn't for the turrets. It's a scanning station, and okay. those, um, they're both chairs. scanning stations. Yeah. Those two chairs at the helm. Um, they allow you to enter remote turrets. So this is the main, I guess, uh, relaxation area. We've got bars, have a seat, do whatever. Of course you can see, you know, look out the glass there and you can still see that we're in quantum. Just kind of right. slick. So if you come down then down again you have the kitchen area storage area as well as the pool table we go back up because yeah there is nothing over here but like module storage area we go back up come back to the elevator take that down one level Not the elevator. Right here. Okay, lower deck. Alright, so then here we got the... This is basically the loading area. Put like a rover and whatnot on here. Right. And this is the captain's room, I guess you can say. The luxury room. See it points I forward. I need to restart the team speak too and uh Am I breaking up? No, it's it's uh Occasionally, when I hit it, it screws up the game. Oh. So I yeah. think it needs to be in admin mode. Possibly. So we'll finish this. We're almost done. Then back here, the far back into the ship, we have the crew quarters. That's pretty much it, man. What do you think? Kind of a pretty ship, huh? It's really pretty. I'm heading back up to the bridge. What is this ship for, though? It's a luxury, basically, Starliner, almost. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a luxury personal ship. 
basically scanning systems, that kind the of stuff. The target demographic is the one percent in the universe. Well, that makes they, sense because it doesn't. The origin it's not really jump cargo. Works. Yeah, origin yeah. jump works markets themselves to the Rolls Royce owners of the universe. All right, we're 10 million out, zero. I'm at the tram for the spaceport. Okay. Getting on it now, actually. So I'm thinking I just might bring the 600. Yeah, I'm bringing the 600 strictly to straight to Hurston. Not going to do a swap. I'll just file a claim on it later. Uh, okay. It'll be alright. Doesn't cost me anything to file claims on shit. That's true. So. I might have to go eat slash sleep soon. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm still awake. I had turkey dinner tonight, so, you know. <laughs> I am legitimately yeah. surprised I'm still awake. I just wanted to check out the expo. Too much fun, though. Yeah. I just wanted to see if this would run, and it does. What's your frames at? No, well, you can also rent ships oh, at the expo, by out. the way. If I can figure out how to get my frames to come up. <laughs> There's a command for the NVIDIA thing, and I just don't remember what it is. I never seem to remember. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I use what the Riva Tuner or whatever it is. Yeah, so overall, I'm not doing too bad. 45 FPS. I'm also streaming at 1080, so, you know, hey. <laughs> well, I think you have right. a pair of 1080s, right? <laughs> no. Two nine eighties. I'm hanging out at the uh, ship panels. Okay, we're almost there. We're getting there, man. Sure. Two nine eighties is still better than my one ten seventy. Well, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Got my headset though. <laughs> okay. So we're five hundred out. All right. We're out of quantum. Deactivated. Come on. You want it, you're going to land this ship? Yep. So I'm lining up right now for Lorville. And... Pull. Okay, spooling up. Quantum drive. All right, we're going to do a quantum over there. So it's going to take us a couple minutes to reach the surface, so... Just because we're in orbit doesn't mean we're ready to exit the ship. <laughs> Remember, think immersion. Alright, we're lined up. Go all wonky on me here. Full speed ahead. So that's Lorville there in the distance. Tell it's kind of a large city.
Paul speed ahead. Fuel, quantum travel fuel is low to it's cry astro. Care about more quantum fuel. Got me here. And two trips actually. That's pretty decent. To and from. Yeah. Not too bad. That's a considerable amount of fuel. It's like eight hundred something each no uh, one way. Yeah. I have not gone grocery shopping, so I need slash want to go to Carl's Jr. <laughs> We're almost there. Hey, would you pick me up a Santa Fe chicken while you're there? Right. <laughs> I'll just let it AFK along me, but it's like right around the corner, so I might be back in time. Okay. I haven't eaten anything all day, so yeah. Personal problem. What do you think of this traversing into the planet so far? It's cool. Notice it's a little no, bit. No loading they, screens. Right? Because these ships don't use reaction drives, you can get away with this. <laughs> but flying straight down at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole flying straight down without having, you know, like atmospheric effects. Yeah, that should have happened actually. I don't know why that didn't happen, but we are slowing down. So there is atmosphere pushing back. Just so you know that. Yeah, but the the way these drives on these ships work, I don't think you're using actual reaction drives. I don't know what they're using actually drives using. Drives that don't yeah. use. You're not using rocks. Yeah, it's not rockets. No. Alright, land her down. Quest landing permission. I requested, did it not give? Oh, yep, yeah, I see it. This isn't giving me FPS. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm sitting around 20 right now, so you wouldn't be getting anything special. I had to lift up there, I wasn't slowing down fast enough. Alright. See here, we're to the open pad. Don't see an open pad. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's just opening. Oh, it's right below me. Actually worked out pretty good. Uh-oh. Holy cow. That's <laughs> sound. 
I did that pretty damn smooth. Power off. Alright, exit. Landing complete. I am getting... What are you getting right now? I'm getting 29. 28, 29. I'm hovering around 30. We're not too far that's, off. That's yeah. about what everybody gets. Alright. Kevin? I think they need to... Well, they still need to optimize this, too. They haven't even oh, absolutely. tried, probably, yet. On board? Ah. User joined your channel. Who's the user? Yo! Ardu! I think the thing is using 15 gigs of memory? Oh yeah, if you have 16 really? gigs, it'll use all of it. Well, with memory. No, I have 32. It, I'm surprised it's not using. I'm surprised it's not using more. <laughs> All right, so yeah, where do we get out? Fifteen point eight. It's over here, actually. And it is crushing my GPU like a bug. Yep, it'll do that. My GPU's memory is done. It's using six point five gigabytes on the GPU. Yep. Mine's only, yeah, I'm using pretty much all my memory. It's and the gigs. program itself is using four gigs, and I guess the rest is going to other things. GP load is only 50%, so they still, yeah, have optimized it or anything. Well, so something else is going on there, because it should be maxing out your GP. If so, the 3D isn't maxed out, the 3D is only at 50%. Because mine's in at full 99% usage. So, yeah, it's should... only using 53, but I've got other slow open, so... Crank the settings up, man. Pull some of that load off of your CPU. Hopefully it doesn't crash you, though. Well, it's on very high. Okay, you're fine. All right, so we made it to Lorville. Where'd you go, Greg? And I'm also running. Um, not uh, it, the door closed. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to open it again. I'm stuck in the elevator. Uh, oh, you gotta open it. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, we made it, man. We're here. Welcome to Lorville. Lag capital. What? Well, either there's a lot of... Oh, there's a few PCs here, too. Oh, yeah. So what you doing, Haro? I was going to jump in and see if I could uh, get on your server. Go for it. I was about to go check out the expo. Grogo's off exploring. Zero's laying dead on the floor. And he was just logged out, I think. Wait, that was a zero. This is zero. This one's zero. Alright, so first things first, I need to change my outfit. I'm going to play oh, Sims. Is this the first planet? This is the first real planet, yeah. Because before it was just moons that we were able to go to. So, yeah, first real planet. Just the volume of work still not left to do. God. Yeah, they have a lot of people working on it, but oh my god. <laughs> well, the thing is, is, what you gotta keep in mind, right, is the tools that they use on this game now are much better compared to what they're used to. So, when they were previously, like, you know, doing all that stuff, it was, the tools were crap. They were yeah. legitimate crap. So they've optimized their procedure, I guess is the best way to put it. They have more scripts and tools to expedite this kind of stuff. So now, like, they design the ship, then they just kind of block everything in at the, after the, they design it. Same with the planets. The other big factor is that when they start winding down on the production of Squadron 42 this year, all those resources come to this game, so that's going to change a lot of 
Yep. Output. The squadron right. 42 done. It's getting there. But, I don't know. Some people are saying 2019. Other people are saying 2020. I'm not going to say anything or put a date on anything. I'm just going to say it'll be here when it's... <laughs> what is this? I've spent money Arrow. I'm going to bet, but I'd like to play something that's fun. Yeah. Arrow's yeah, kind of a cool looking know, ship. It might be... Uh, I'll... It might not be, well, it might be Christmas 2019 is what everybody's kind of anticipating that they'll release this, but... Yeah. If you look at the game now, I mean, the functions in this game are based off of what Water 42 should be, so that I'm looking at the AI as being a, a clear indicator that there's still a long way to go with Water 42. Yeah. Now, given their scripted stuff, right, that they've done with, like, Mark Hamill and all the other real actors... A lot of that's probably already in place, other than probably cleaning up, I imagine, but other than that, it should all be in there. So I got this ship, this ship, what other ships do I have. Oh, I have this one over here, too. What is it? Should be, yeah, the tracker. So that one I don't have. Troop carrier one. I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to get more memory tomorrow or not. I'm it's finally come down in price to the point at which it kind of okay. I'm debating the same thing because I have 16 gigs of memory and I'm thinking I want to step up to 32. But for me, it's kind of hard because I have to find the quad channel memory and the selection on the quad channel is much less. I've been finding that Max is 32 yet, I'm, like, in just gaming wise. Other than this game? <laughs> well, this game still doesn't max 32, but it uses the most out of any I've seen. But 32 yeah. seems to be the, the sweet point. Need yeah. This F7CM, I've got one of those in my hangar. Oh, the Hornet? The Super Hornet that yeah. has a two-person? Two it's got a gunner. Yep. Man, I don't know what this ship Which is I'm right here, but I want it. How good that's going to be, but yeah, whatever. It's only as good as the person gunning it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, what We're ship is this? People are somewhat content. Well, aerospace. What ship? Giving me clicky. Thing. Pretty. This is this a Nighthawk? It could no, be. I, it's the one on the far right. All the time has a memory leak. And so every three or four days, I have to start my computer because it runs out of memory. Oh. I never leave my system up and running. Ever, ever, yeah. ever, ever, ever. Yeah. I, when I built this thing in that the time. I never, I never leave it up anymore because it just it starts in like 15 seconds, so you don't have to leave, yeah. leave my system anymore. Well, the thing is, like, with mine, I have $400 worth of liquid cooling shit in here, <laughs> yeah. and you know, obviously, it'll cost me a good chunk of change to rebuild something if the if it did spring a leak. So I just don't like to leave it running. I'm not no, I'm entirely I'm concerned, Black but and that game runs twenty four seven. I do stuff in the game twenty four seven. Gotcha. Whether you're logged in or not, because it's no, it's you're, if you're logged in, you can do stuff. Oh, gotcha. So I just stay logged in all the time. Oh, you do that auto leveling? Well, I saw not... that. Yeah, it's a, it's an AFK style game, so there's a lot of shit that happens AFK. Yeah. So, so in theory, should we be able to get on these ships? Uh, no, these are just ships that you know they have available from this manufacturer. Oh, okay, you can't actually get on the ships or anything. Yeah, that's the terrapin. You can get on the um, the terrapin. You can get in that one. The ones that don't have a, a, a ring around them, you can get you can get on. Yeah. 
the and angle of serpent. You can red stairs, there's okay. a new arrow you can kind of get in it. There's one over but on the far away end. Chips, so yeah. I'm assuming that'll just dump it in your hangar. Yep, but it costs yeah, money to rent. Day, they'll have a new, new manufacturer here that you can go up and select the rents and then rent whatever you want and have them in your hangar for the week. Or yeah, for the day, it would cost zero to probably. rent it, though. Yeah, because it's free fly right now, I believe. But this is yeah. new. Like, this whole renting scheme is like, this is a new a new thing they just brought in for this today, basically. We weren't Dude, able to rent ship like this before. What ship is this? I like it. It's awkward as fuck. It looks like it has folding wings. Oh, that's the hawk. That's the that's hawk? That's the bounty hunter. That's cool looking, man. I dig it. I have one of those. Yeah, did you rent it? No, I bought... I bought actually, I bought two last year when they came out. One I turned into a prospector, and one I kept as an LTI token for potential future. Gotcha. Looks kind of cool. If you melt something, do you keep LTI? Uh, you uh, can, you yes. So you don't melt the LTI. So I wouldn't suggest melting LTI chips. Uh, you just upgrade what I suggest it. Just is keeping at least one and doing a cross chassis upgrade with one of the LTI tokens. Correct. Yeah. No, I don't have any ships that aren't LTI. These are kind of cool. The one I really like is over on the other far end, Grogo. Absolutely love it. Were you able to get on our server, Haro? Yeah, I'm running behind you guys in this room. Get the red eyes. Uh, all right, let me be here. Can I bite you? I don't want to rent a ship. <laughs> I can't do anything. So let's see here, F11. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything because I think Zero was lead. Oh, party leader? Yeah, I can't do anything. He'll be right back. Alright. I'm on the same server, so I just follow you guys. Cool. So I like the one over here on the other far end. Where you're at? Yeah, the hot uh, the where you just I came from. With the big guns. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I want it. <laughs> That's all I can say. I want it. You no, know, I don't think I have any other ghosts because I haven't purchased any. The gladiator. Love my gladiator. Even though people say it's shit, I love it. Here's a torpedo. You do not like something really like that carries a torpedo. It does. But whatever this ship is, I fucking want it, dude. This thing is just nasty looking. No, this is the Lightning. If you go up to it, it's the Anvil F8 Lightning. Yeah, this is the military-only ship. So the military, we're the only people that can get access to this. You can't get this in-game. But apparently, the story is, if you go through Squadron 42 and you get a certain rank, you will be eligible to actually achieve this in-game. Okay. Well, I'm going to get that rank then. Because this ship belongs in my fucking hangar, dude. It is gorgeous. Don't you have enough ships in your hangar? That's a relative question. Do you really have enough chips? Yeah, this is like, uh, I mean, look at the guns in this thing. It's got like gigantic guns at the bottom, a double turret. Dude, it's got, what, like a size four turret there on the top. Oh, there's two more on the on the wings. Jesus Christ. This yeah. Thing... This thing's a tank, dude. Like, legitimate. It's legit. You have two on the wings. You got two underneath the fuselage. You got a turret on the top. Plus missiles ducked into every single little orifice on this thing. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I want this in my hangar. That is going to be rare in game. Is that a torpedo on the underside of that? Right there in the very front on the nose almost, off to the side. It looks like so. This, guy, like, this thing has a bit of everything. Yeah. Hey, Chris, if you're watching the stream, dude, I, I want this ship, dude. I want it. Make it available for me. I'll buy it right now, tonight. Anvil Lightning. This is the one I like. This new uh, F7A. This is the new redesigned one. That's what this is. Uh, yeah, the redesigned. Anvil Lightning. Yeah, I want the Lightning. So the Super Hornet looks better. 
But this isn't the Super Hornet, is it? This is just a regular? No, so this, this is, the, is uh, this F7A. Is the F7A. This, this is another is military else. kind of variant, but it's it was the one that they redesigned. I like the, the, the cockpit. It looks, really it's got a Hornet design to it, so yeah. I forget the lore behind this particular ship. I do have, on my standard Hornet, I do have the military skin applied to it. So, by definition, it should be this. The um, the arrow is an interesting ship, but the wings that fold up how it does, you could put a bunch of them. Yeah. F7C-M is a civilian aircraft, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. M is supposed to be military, I thought. No, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a civilian aircraft. It has military stuff on it. Yeah, there we go. It's not actually military military. You got the wildfire. Something like that. I don't know. Which is okay, but that's a hell of a Gatling gun on top of this. So the what is this from the um gladiator? That's a torpedo boat too, right? Yeah, that is the smallest torp boat. But it's literally, I think it's like one torpedo, which is this little bay right here. The Hail Mary. Hope you hit it. Pretty much. It may be two, but they're not full-size torps. They are smaller torps. But it is a torpedo boat, so. It'll be good for, like, quick strikes against something, but, yeah. So, yeah. If that one, then I don't know. I got the full range of bombers. Anything that could carry a torpedo, I have. All the way up the capital. That's what I'm missing here. I don't have a mini map. <laughs> yeah, there's no mini map. Take a peek inside the third. I like the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is not too bad. Just can't carry cargo. That's the only thing that sucks about it. I understand why they, they did it. Like well, I totally get why they did that. Military ship, but they should make a civilian kind of cargo out of this hull. I mean, this is such a perfect ship for cargo. Yeah. Like strip all the guns off of it. Not even all the guns. The one thing I'm disappointed, if you look at the size of the guns on this thing, they're tiny. Oh, you mean the little side guns? Yeah, they're, they are the tiny. Dropship? Yeah. Yeah. You think it, I was looking at the specs, that I thought it was like size one guns on it, and that was about it. What is this thing? It's got like a little clip-up panel on the floor. Flip it up, what does it do? It's like a... You know, if you had like one of those launch panels on an aircraft carrier for a ship, <laughs> but you can't put a ship in here. Can you? No. Well, actually, yeah, you can load a vehicle up here. That's about it. That's what you're allowed to load in here as a vehicle. Oh, maybe that's what this is for. Like to stop. Yeah. That keeps that lets people move around. Can't lower still. <laughs> you lower with this little red button here. But you got doors everywhere on this freaking thing. That. Yeah, the Valkyrie's definitely a military ship. Head up the ladder, see if I can get off the ladder. But doesn't it look like it needs like a troop transport in the back? Oh, what? My goodness. Get off the ladder, dude. Yeah, that's like you put like a. I don't know if you could fit it. It does a tank, right? There is a tank in the game coming. I don't know if it'll fit in this thing, though. Fucking ladder, dude. <laughs> they gotta work on the ladders a bit. The thing that sucks about this game is the uh, the living quarters upstairs where the beds are. It's not in an atmosphere, atmospheric controlled uh, chamber. All right, so I can fall down the hole that I climbed the ladder up on. 
Yeah, get, I tried to get down that ladder earlier. It's kind of strange. There we go. Okay. We got the two gunner seats. See what that looks like. I think give the gunners like dual joysticks. I don't get that. Well, the turret is in the bottom. Imagine if I was in space, I'd get a hologram of where I'm looking to shoot. Well, there's a the turret's got bugged. You could just like mold people as they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> that would be awesome. Pretty cool. And it's going to be horrible when they implement all the engineering in the ships and all these little switches become usable and people are just running <laughs> turning ships off or yep. switches off on your ship. That's... And I, I don't know if you watched that little video I put up on the forums, Haro, but that was the key thing I was pointing out. If you're using the engineering station, don't turn it off. Like, when you do the power off, you power off the ship, not the engineering station. Oh, so that actually works from the engineering station power. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you, you open it up, right? You sit at the, the engineering station. You power on the engineering station, so you think you'd power it off when you leave. Nope. You power it off when you leave, it powers off the ship, not oh, the engineering okay. station. <laughs> it is ass backwards from what it should be. All right, perfect. We like the turret on top of the wildfire, though. Hurricane's a pretty interesting ship. That's the one with the double turret on the top, also. Yep. It's got like the guns up in the front are almost like shotguns. They're not really like can. They're like shot cannons. Yeah. Frag guns or something. Hurricane at. Towards that next to the hop thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Honestly... I break my avatar. My heart rate is 160 and it's just parked. Well, you're spurning around everywhere. Take off your helmet. You won't let me take off my helmet. We're probably... Grogo's probably going to die on this. <laughs> Do you think... Uh, you think so I'm look at this hangar, Kicker. If you took this hangar, took everything out of here... You think you can fit it? Looks like you can fit an Iteris in this hangar. It's possible, yeah. It is definitely a big hangar. So, yeah, it's possible. See if we can watch Grogo die. Oh, he just de disappeared. I'm gonna try the exit to menu and come back and see if that fixes it. Oh, okay. Make sure you launch onto us. So I launch, just say s spaceports, right? So, yeah, this, there's a spaceport, right? Then if you look at the bottom, you have, uh, you have the launch, then there should be friends or contacts. Yeah, join friends. Yep. Click that, then you should be able to see, well, probably maybe Haro or, uh, you should be able to see me, but I don't know. No, my contact list was full. I couldn't add you. Gotta work on that. You should see, uh, Zero Gamer, though. Look how it's dark inside of here. Even if I, I don't think I, I have Grogo on my. Uh... You have Grogo on your friends list? I think so. Bed locker locked. Okay, it put me somewhere weird. Okay, whatever. What's weird? Oh, are you in some bed somewhere? Put me back at the Stratton station again, I think. 
No, yeah, you're at. Yep. It sure did. Oh, uh, yeah. If you didn't pull a ship here, then you haven't been bound here yet. All right, man. I'm sorry, but I'm not coming back over to get you this time. <laughs> well, I've got a ship. Okay. I was told to pull my caterpillar. Well, by the, by the guy that's AFK, so you can pull any other ship you want to. Yeah, caterpillar's pretty uh, horrendous getting on the uh, atmosphere <laughs> in person. I, yeah, honestly, I'd probably do a smaller ship, man. This is a good time for you to, like, play around and get used to doing a little bit of flying, too. I'm not going to be on much longer. Anyways, Grogo, I got to get to bed here, oh, man. No problem. It's on B2. This arrow ship is actually pretty slick, man. I like it. Yeah, I was actually thinking that uh, when those when it goes in, the, have you flown it yet? Because uh, when the when the wings go up, it becomes a pretty neat profile. I wonder if it actually could fit in any ships, like like the Hammerhead or something, or the. I don't. If the wings the were to fold up, it becomes really narrow. It's just the, the profile, so the height, and the height becomes a. Maybe an issue. Yep. Let's see here, what does it cost to rent? Transaction cost. I'll rent it. Purchase complete. I'm going to take a couple of arrows and fly them around. I may do that tomorrow. How long does the rental last? I think that they're actually going to be available the whole week. Okay. So if you rent something, you sh it should be in your inventory for a full week. I think so. Eh, I'll find out tomorrow. I mean, it, if I don't have it tomorrow, then, you know, oh well. I'm sure at some point it'll end up in my hangar in one way or another. Pretty slick looking ship though. Yeah, they're like, mm. uh, it's supposed to be kind of like pretty, it's super nimble and it's got like very thin skin, but I think the way that these things are going to work is that because they're so compact, they just come out in numbers and just see it like it's swarmed by them. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's got decent missiles on it from what I could see. You have Dual Gatling guns, which is good, and it looks like two, maybe so. size two turret on the top. I'm seeing that right. Looks pretty slick though. Another ship here I want to rent while I'm here, and for the sake of just clicking rent. I was actually able to get in this ship today. Alright, the Valkyrie I should probably rent. Why not? Now, how do you take this thing off? And that's why I suggested you should probably spend some time flying around. Get used to some of the controls. Other ship threat. Airpin. Air four. Airpin's horrible. I, I, I drove one today and I was like, it was all, it's acting strange. Like the engines were all weird. It kept powering up and powering down. I had to like cycle the lightning gear at one point to get the thing to thrust. Really Please. buggy. I probably have more ships in my hangar than I can have contacts in my contact list. <laughs> okay, that ship cannot rent.
the hornets in my hangar. I already have them all. Except for the fire one. Look, looking. They just like that cannon on top of it. Ain't got no. Of course, the other one I want to rent. Jump over the ropes. <laughs> All right. I have no idea how to do anything. This is one of the issues. Well, it's only an issue until you learn how to do something. What are you trying to do? Fly a ship for the first Take time? Take off my ship. <laughs> space, bar, space bar. Go straight up. If you haven't figured the power on, flight ready mode. So Power on I did. Spar doesn't do anything. Okay, so you still need to power on the engines. So there's two types of power ons, right? There's a... Light ready power on option, then there's just the power on, which is just your electronics. Light ready literally powers the whole entire systems up, like engines, main power, weapons, everything. And you guys really need to watch some of the videos I put out or something, like, seriously. You guys are on which one? Hurston. Hurston, huh? Yep. It is Hurston. You like the way this redesigned Hornet looks. Can't wait until they put it in my hand. Wait. Gladiator. I would rent it, but I already have it in anger. Okay, I managed to take off. Step one is complete on my master plan. It's upset at me because I'm obstructing the landing area. All right. I think I'm going to end up calling it a night here, guys. All right. See you, man. Close up my stream here.